this ceremony is um, also in the area about honoring two highly meritorious recipients of the Cannabis Culture Award 2012. Frederick Freik Burak and Torvald Stoltenberg. I hope the pronunciation of your beautiful name is not too much, does not have too much of a Dutch accent. <laughs> no? We always we speak, we speak almost the same language. <laughs> and I mentioned the two names in alphabetical order. Since Urlak is the B is before the S. Urlak stole. <laughs> and the same in Norwegian. <laughs> There's not the slightest controversy about all this. If the alphabet is the same, everything is the same. Yes, yes. Frederik Polak, psychiatrist, has become over the last decades a man of supreme authority in the ongoing public and political discussions on drugs policy, both in the Netherlands and far beyond. For about 10 years, up to 2003, Freek conducted the drugs department of this city's mental health <coughs> service. He authored a multitude of articles on drug policy. Frederick is one of the engines propelling the Drugs Policy Foundation, a society, the society par excellence, combating the ban on cannabis. And he is one of the engines propelling the European Coalition for a Just Drugs Policy. Um, name is abbreviated into NCOT, but up to now nobody could convincingly explain me how this abbreviation came into being. <laughs> <laughs> so that is uh, Mr. Twofold Engine. But moreover, in the annual meetings of the UN Drugs Agency, UNODC, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. Hello? <laughs> Drugs and Crime. There the things go, go already badly wrong. But anyway, this, this is the official name. But in the annual meetings of that uh, UNODC, Frederick is the representative of the organization mentioned, um, a Dutchman never overlooked. Reputed as a reasonable man, perseverant, well informed, he has repeatedly confronted the UN agency with questions that are familiar to us but not familiar enough to many outside of this room. Questions such as, why is cannabis consumption in the Netherlands lower than in most other European countries and in the US? Why is that a question? Well, in the Netherlands, Adults have to some degree access to cannabis, coffee shops, you were already mentioned. Whereas elsewhere, there are no, there is no legal way, no legal way to get it. If a severe regime of unconditionally banning cannabis were to be effective, 
then cannabis consumption would of, necess of necessity be lower there in those countries than it is in the Netherlands where there is some, uh, some room for, uh, for, for, uh, for purchasing and uh, consuming cannabis. So th that question, uh, uh, Frederick is too honest uh, to speak that out uh, day after day for the media and so on, but it's a, it's a question that is, is, is really killing for all those protagonists of the severe regimes. Polak has um, presented his views on drugs policy all over the world, participating in conferences and seminars. He exposes the fallacy of prohibiting and repressing time and again. 